podcast has been getting popular nowadays. Instead of watching videos, a huge number prefer to listen to audio, allowing them to do other tasks while listening. For busy people like me and you, it's a perfect way to tune in some great content and having time for household chores and work. This is exactly why the podcast industry has reached an all-time high. It's booming with loyal listeners who stay up to date with episodes every week. Now and then, a new podcast is being launched, making the industry teeming with new choices to listen to. For further audience, for the audience, this is huge cool is the best thing for podcast creator like me and you. However, this makes podcasting a bit more difficult. With plenty of other podcasts, you're bound for some competition, which means as a podcast creator, you must go the extra mile in making sure you have putting out a great content. That said, we have prepared some tips for you to increase your listeners, having them become a regular subscriber to the podcast. Hi, I'm Miko Santos from Kangaroo Firm Media Lab, and this is the Podcast Creator Society. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about things you could do to improve your podcast. Before we begin thought, make sure to subscribe to Podcast Creator Society. So we got eight tips to improve your podcast. The first one, listen to other podcasts. When you're launching your first episode, you might get caught up in a lots of things, especially creating the next episode. You're going to be busier than usual without time for anything else. Well, we're here to tell you that you should do other things too, including listening to other podcasts. Yes, you hear it like. Listening to your competition might feel counterproductive, but doing this actually um, help you improve your podcast. Listening to other podcasts allow you to gain insights, tell you what they're doing right, and what they should improve. From this knowledge, you'll be able to apply them to your podcast. It's also a great way to find inspiration. Try to search for podcasts with a similar niche. And you will be surprised by just how many new ideas. Number two, having a podcast trailer. A great way to introduce your podcast is by having a podcast trailer. That's appear at top of your, of your podcast or the platform feed. If you take a look at the most successful ones, you will find that they have a podcast trailers ready to give listener a quick preview about the podcast. For beginners, a trailer become even more helpful an enticing listener to pick an episode and listen. Make sure that your podcast trailers include, say, your introduction about you, the podcast topic, and uh, if you have an interview, so probably any guests. Insert clips to serve as a teaser. It's easy to include a lot of previews, but make sure to limit the trailer. It's around two minutes. It can be even as shorter as five seconds, depending on your trailer style. Number three, attract listeners by using a catchy titles. Another way to improve your podcast without having to play the podcast yet would be to choose a catchy title for each episode. Similar to blog post titles, your podcast title can literally make or break you in terms of listeners. Before improving other aspects, you might want to take a look first of these episode titles. Make sure that they are enticing, makes people, especially new and potential listeners, feel, say, curious to actually listen and click the podcast. Well, a boring title only turns off people from listening. So make sure to consider this and have a good titles. Number four, have a good outro and intro. Similar to making a YouTube video, a podcast should have a good intro and outro. While you can certainly just head straight to the main topic and finish off the video or the audio after you tackle everything, an intro and outro helps you build a strong following among listeners. Let's start with having an intro. This is basically the first bits a listeners hear and a boring one could easily 
have the listeners keeping the entire podcast for one that has more inciting intro. When you have a good one, it tells you your new audience that your content is worth listening to. For a loyal listeners, it gives them the impression that there is still value to your work and even after several episodes. A good outro is just as much as needed as the earlier intro. While the intro tells listeners to give you your podcast a chance, the outro tells them to stay tuned for the next episodes. While having a short recap of the past few minutes, they just spend listening to you. Number five. Use call to action. To add to the previous point about outros, you may also include call to action in this part. Having people listening to your podcast is great, but having people who return regularly to listen to the next episode are even better. A call to action allows you to interact with your audience and build trust among them. So try to encourage listeners to do something after tuning into your podcast. It can be as easy as encourage them to subscribe to your podcast, leaving a comment. If you do it right, you could try asking them to share about your podcast on social media. You can get as creative as you want with this part, like writing something witty or motivational. It's totally up to you. Depending on your podcast niche, make sure to have only a few call to action per episode. Too much might overwhelm your listener. Number six, writing about your podcast. Make a word version of your podcast when making a blog or website dedicated to the podcast. This is where you'll be posting a written content about each episode. This might seem like more, say, a hassle, but by doing this, it will help a lot with optimizing your search engine ranking on Google. Well, Google detects text a lot easier and faster than audio, which means if you have a written content and post available online, your podcast has a great reach and potential audience. If doing show notes or outline are too much for you, you may ask help from people who can transcribe them for you at a price, just like the Kangaroo Firm can help you with that. Number seven, collaborate with other people. Probably the best way to promote your podcast is by doing collaboration with other podcasters. Like many other industries and businesses, you will need people to help you get to the top. For podcasting, it's pretty much the same things. While you are might initially see these people as competition, it's also important to treat them as colleagues who can help you grow and expand your reach. Consider podcasters who have an audience that are highly similar with your own. Make sure that their audience can relate to your content because after all, you will be exposed to them after the collab or the collaboration. You also want to work with a guest who has already enough following. Be, be realistic and choose those who can provide a good value to your podcast. Of course, You have to make sure that your guests are actively happy to work with you. You wouldn't want the whole thing to be, you know, awkward. Number eight, prepare your guests. Speaking of keeping this less awkward and more natural, one good way to achieve this is preparing your guests prior to recording the podcast, especially when you're doing an interview style podcast, which involves the host asking the guests some questions. These questions will then be used as a base for the whole conversation and the topic. The trick is to have answers that are entertaining for the audience. If you don't orient your guests, you'll end up putting out a boring episode with a dull content that you can't really cure with sound effects. What you can do is to get to know the guests first, know their past works, and research about their sense of humor insights, rate of speech, and how they answer questions. Make sure to also inform your guests of the question and topics you'll be discussing. This will allow them to have clear thought and idea of what the conversation will be, making the episode more engagement, insightful, and entertaining. 
on your end, avoid asking some lame question with no real substance. As a tip, focus more on how and why question rather than yes and no questions. And how, why question allow the guest to talk more about the topic, making the whole thing natural. On the day of the recording, make sure to have a chat with your guest before hitting the record button. This part will help each other be aware of the process and tone of the podcast. Allowing clarification to be answered, there may be some topics your guests would rather not talk about. Doing this will also help everyone to get to know each other, which makes the podcast feel more vibrant and authentic. Well, again, podcasting won't give you overnight success. There's a tons of podcast channel making a great episode right now. A lot of these successful ones spend hours just to deliver high quality content. And if you want to succeed, you must also do the same to your podcast. Make sure that you put out a relevant content, stay consistent with your podcast or your old niche. Always have room for improvement. With these tips, you'll be guided on what specific things you can do to improve your podcast. After watching this, head straight to your workspace and think of the possible areas in your podcast where you can apply these tips. You might be surprised to know that there's indeed tons of things you can do to increase your listeners and have a good following. So, this is Miko Santos from Podcast Creator Society and this is today's episode. So that's it. Do you have any other tips to help improve a podcast? Let us know in the comment below. If you like this episode, leave like and share it with your friends and family. Also stay tuned for more podcasting tricks and tips in the future. To the next one, thanks for watching and listening.